Hello folks, Friday, August 6th. <clears throat> it's Bandcamp Friday. Support your um, favorite independent artists, including me. Also, today is the official release day of my album, Future Still, and it's been an exciting morning. Um, I went down to Homer's, my favorite local independent record store, to see it in the racks there. And I went down shortly after 10, it was already gone. They, the copy they had left was on hold. They're sold. They're, they're all gone. This is very exciting. This is a wonderful position to be in. Um, I understand that Force Exposure, who I'm psyched, you know, uh, are carrying my record. They're already sold out of copies. This is wonderful. This is very um, gratifying. It's, it's reaffirming as well, although I will say very, very honestly, I know that what I do is good. I know it. You just have to hear it. You just have to connect with it. So this is just really fantastic. While I was down at Homer's, I grabbed this. They had just gotten it in. I couldn't remember exactly what it was about the band, but I remembered it, so I grabbed it. Kleenex Lilliput. This is a reissue, first issue, I guess, in years. And the deal was that this was a Swedish punk band, all female, or is it Switzerland? I haven't read up on this, but I remember the name Kleenex. I never bought any of the records at the time. It's on this funky looking vinyl. But when I saw the cover and, and, and I remember Kleenex, it was a group that had caught my attention, but I never bought them. Played just a little bit of it, and it is kind of that agit prop sound. It's definitely punk, scratchy, but but um, very determined. There's a determinedness in their voices and the sound of the music. So I'm glad I grabbed this. But that was the one thing I bought. Um, the only other record that I played yesterday. Because again, it was another day full of stuff. Was I had recently bought this reissue of Trick of the Tail by Genesis, put out by Rhino Records. I bought it. I didn't need it, but I bought it simply because it's a a, a colored vinyl version of the record. I love the Charisma label, and I love the way that looks. This is a shitty pressing. It's 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 marred. I don't think it's my copy. I think they all sound like this, which is really sad. I mean, I'm certainly not going to buy another copy of this to find out if I just got a badly pressed um, copy. It sounds like the anomalies that I'm hearing are likely on every copy. And how could someone who's manufacturing records let something like that happen? I don't know, but anyway, that's the only other record that I've played. I'm going to just say it again, and, and I don't mind saying it too much. I'm really happy that this is happening. I want to thank Matt Pokolsky of FPE Records in Chicago for doing this with me. It feels great. Okay. A short one, but have a safe weekend and much love to all of you.